Hello, what's up, guys? I'm Xing Hao from GoLab at the University of Illinois at Chicago. Here, I'm going to show you how to use our new tool, SCB, to 3D visualize your own proteomic data. First, let's say you did the bottom-up proteomics for your sample, and here's a list of peptides you identified from either MS Fragger, Seacrest, or whatever search engine you're using. If, if you want to include any PDMs, you need to show it inside a bracket. The number inside a bracket normally is a mass shift or modified mass, or you can define any unique number. Okay, now let's open up the SCV web app. You wanna copy and paste your peptides into this empty box and PTMs will be automatically spotted on the right. And it is where you can define what color you wanna show for each PTM. You wanna avoid using red, because the sequence coverage will be shown as red. So let's click the color and change it into something else. And we will keep the background color as white or you could change it into any other color you like. And always remember to check the checkbox, otherwise those PDMs won't show. Here's a drop down box where you need to select which species your sample is from. Our example here is from a mouse cell line. So we'll go with mouse. If you have your own PDB structure you wanna visualize, you can also upload your own PDB files. So everything now is ready, we're good to go. And then we click next. Here is a job URL which you can use to access your result later but it will be deleted after 30 days for the sake of server space. Since we don't need to wait, let's click it now. Now the left part of result page shows a list of identified proteins from your input peptides. Under each entry, you can see a color canvas. The red part shows where the protein is covered based on your input sequence. And let's say you're interested in the 3D coverage of the second protein, LSS. You could click the color canvas under LSS. On the right is the 3D sequence coverage of this protein, including PDM showing the green color. It is an interactive 3D graph. So you could rotate, zoom in or zoom out, or even move it on your screen, or even take a screenshot on the right. Okay, thank you for your time. And if you have any issues or bugs when you use SCV, please let me know as soon as possible. Thank you.